All right, y'all, welcome back to Midwest Pursuit Taxidermy. Today, we got a coon. Uh, I just built this flesh and bean, actually, a few minutes ago. And uh, I've never done a coon, so we're gonna try to flesh it out today and see how it goes. Um, hopefully it goes well. I just got the cheapest fleshing knife on the market, pretty much. I think it was like 20 bucks. Me and my grandpa just put an edge on it. I don't know if y'all can see that. But we got our cutting side, our pushing side, from what I've seen from YouTube. So uh, we're going to get started, and I'll put y'all in an up-close view. All right, y'all. This is my coon. Got the arms, possibly. Let's see. I may have to make another board for coons. I made this one because I was planning on doing a coyote, but it just never worked out for me. So from what I've seen, you All right, I'm back. Um, ended up not being sharp enough, so I had to go use the sander and put a slight sharper edge on it. So we'll get started. I still don't think it's sharp enough, but my grandpa said we can't use his knife sharpener because it, he has a work sharp and it won't go through it, unfortunately. So it looks like we're gonna be doing it like this for these two coons tonight. All right, I think we got this mostly done. I'll still have some knife work to do at my house, but uh, on the fleshing beam, I think it turned out pretty good, especially for a dull knife. So hopefully the skin will tan up really nice. And uh, I think my fleshing beam worked pretty good for being a new one and the first one I've ever made, so. Yeah, that's just what I did first time. Please criticize me in the comments. Uh, I need pointers, but uh, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to make a video on how I tan this too. Make sure to go check out some other videos of mine. Uh, I posted how to tan a deer hide. Right now, I'm mounting a wood duck, mostly shorts. But uh, yeah, uh, thank y'all for watching. And until next time, see ya.